Jeff, you also have an NFA YouTube channel where you have uh, interviews with, um, I think, local artists in the mm -hmm. Seattle or greater artists, Washington. Artists, writers, yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Um, I found a lot of them interesting. I watched uh, several of them, and maybe I'll have a few questions from there. But I'm wondering, for the ones that you've done, is there something someone said in one of those that you were just like, wow? I mean, because doing this, it's a two-way street, you know, mm -hmm. and I'm sure, sure. you've probably felt the same. Sure. Um, was there something where you just got, like, struck, where, like, whoa, that was just what I needed to hear in this moment, or...? Yeah, a bunch of times that ha happened in those videos. One that comes to mind when you when you speak about it now, and I forget who actually said this, but we were talking about the comfort zone, right? And the comfort zone is this huge thing, and people, including myself, are so freaked out by the comfort zone. We love the comfort zone. We love to be comfortable, right? And this person said, you know what? Here's what happens. You step outside of the comfort zone, and you stay there for a minute, and the comfort zone expands to you, Oh. right? So it's scary for a minute until you practice, until you do or be whatever this is outside of your comfort zone, and then you get bigger, right? And then you take another step, and then you get bigger. You take another step, and you get bigger. And I thought that was, just, I mean, it's pretty simple, but so much of life is so simple. You just have to remember it or frame it in a way that works for you. So yeah, taking small steps to become bigger, whether it's with skills or education or um, just desires and ambition, whatever it is, just taking, just taking one more step that's mm -hmm. scary until it's not scary anymore. Well, before we um, had this interview, I just kind of finalized some of the questions. Mm -hmm. And just a little self-disclosure, I experienced something where I received some news that was rejection. So I was kind of in this like negative mindset and then I decided to finalize and listen to an, another one of your um, interviews. Great. And you were talking to a lady, Kelly Russell Agadon. Mm -hmm. Is that Diane? Kelly, yeah. sure. Yeah, and she was awesome and she had a very nice style to her. And she said something that in the moment was exactly what I needed to hear and it was about rejection. And she quoted Sylvia Plath and said that Sylvia loved rejection because it meant that she was doing her job or doing her work. And I'm wondering what your take is on rejection. Hell yeah. <laughs> rejection and failure are your, are your best friends. Why? Because it feels, feels terrible in the moment. Yes. <laughs> it feels awful. <laughs> it does. It does feel awful. Oops, sorry. Um, who wants to feel awful? Nobody. But that doesn't mean it's not a bad idea.